Hello and welcome. This is Wilker, and this is my Let's Play series, Episode 8. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the series, I appreciate it. And if you're back, uh, welcome back. So uh, I was up here messing around, and uh, I've just been doing a little bit of mining, a little bit of resource gathering and stuff, and I realized that I hate this room. It's, it's just too small. I don't like having all my machines crammed over here in the corner. I don't like that like the bed's just kind of right there when you walk in so uh, first thing we're gonna do today is change this up because I hate it so um, I think what I'm gonna do is instead of trying to keep this in the shape of the mountain you see I already moved my stairs um, to get up here so I think what I'm gonna do is knock this wall out and extend this room that way a little bit oh, there are wisps everywhere, by the way. I don't know what's going on. I haven't done any Thomcraft at all. And there are just wisps and wisps and wisps. Oops. I actually wonder if it has something to do with all these silverwood trees. Like if there's nodes on them and like the nodes are trying to balance. And because of that, they're just generating just tons of wisps. I really, I don't understand it. Yesterday I took a screenshot and uh, right in this little area right here, there was probably 15 wisps. So, go figure. Anyway, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is knock this wall out and uh, just build uh, this house to hang out, or this room at least, to hang out over the edge of this mountain here. Or, I guess, little hill. It's not really a mountain. So, I'm going to... I don't think you guys want to just watch me build this house. So, I'm going to go ahead and do some of this off camera, and I will be right back. All right, so I am back. I have made this room a lot bigger. I'm going to be a lot more satisfied with uh, how this works out. And I think we'll leave this back wall as the storage wall for now. And I think we're going to move all of our machines down to over here. So, or I might leave my IC2 machines there and then do my thermal expansion machines down there. That sounds like a good idea too. So let's get all this stuff picked up. What I'd really like to do here. Oh, yeah, we can't do that. Yet. Okay. We're going to have to go to the nether here before too long um, and at least get some nether racks so we can get some of this other stuff going. Let's see, so we can pick those up. And knock those out. That'll have to go down and around. Okay. So, oh, yeah, and we're going to have to replace. I'm going to replace all this cobblestone pipe. It's just not doing what I want it to do. Which is, oops. Hmm. <laughs> when I have a little bit more time in a little bit, I'll show you guys um, one of the really cool features of Smart Moving. But, in the meantime, yeah, that'll work out good. We're gonna, stuck. We're gonna move this stuff. And it's a shame to lose the power they had in their buffers, but it's not that big of a deal. I didn't have that much power in there. So, how do I want this to look? Let's see here. Okay. So, I think I want to have these machines like... I want to have five TE machines. So what if I just did them right in the middle of this wall? Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. So we'll put the pulverizer here, the induction smelter here, the powered furnace here. Does that look about right? I'll throw my hoppers back on. Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. And then we'll put our uh, magma crucible and our liquid transposer down there when we get around to building them. Cool. So the next thing we need to do, and I don't think I have enough. No, I don't have anywhere near enough. So we're going to build a couple things here. And I got some glass cooking for two reasons. Number one, I want to build some windows in here. And then number two, we're going to need to build a bunch more of our transport and power pipes. So I've only got four golden conductive left, so we're going to need to build a lot more of those. Let's build like 
let's see, that's 24, 32, let's do like that. And I guess I should put my crafting table back down somewhere, huh? Um, let's see, how about right here for now? So, we'll get this stuff built. And converted. Actually, you know what? For now, let's just do that. Because, as I'm sure you guys can guess, watching that shoot all the way across the uh, map here would be a little bit annoying. And you remember earlier, a couple episodes ago, when I was talking about it being a problem that this is only one wide? Um, we're going to see some more of that here before too soon. Before too long, excuse me. So, we'll figure it out, though. Um... One thing I did not think of here. Okay, so we want our output all going to the right. That actually to be orange. And then we want input on top. And over here we want input, that's all fine. Output to the right. No, we don't want output to the right on this guy, right? You know what? No, let's not do that. We want output to the back. Yeah. Which means I'm going to need to... Hmm. I'll be right back. I'm going to have to, um, number one, lay some more ground on my crawl space here. You see this? So I can get in here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, see, we're going to have to... Wow, this is really slow. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're gonna just gonna have to extend this out a little bit and cover it a little bit, and then we will go from there. Oh, before I forget, my goodness, I had a uh, I forgot it was like almost St. Patrick's time again, and I had a uh, what do they even call it? A shamrock shake. Oh my gosh, I had a shamrock shake at McDonald's. It was amazing. So if you haven't gone and gotten your seasonal shamrock shake, I highly recommend you do it. Oops, didn't want to break that. Also, another thing is that uh, I did hit 100 subscribers over the weekend, so thank you guys very much for subscribing. And I will be doing, I guess, a little bit of um, Who Am I kind of this episode. No, not the not the Les Mis song, but uh, just a quick little Who is Wilker, so uh, if you guys care, you can uh, know a little bit about what I've got going on. And... Uh, I'll do that here in a minute. But before I do that, while I'm doing... Or you know what? I can do it while I'm doing this boring build. So anyway, uh, as you guys uh, probably have guessed by now, my name is uh, Wilker. I am 32. Uh, I think I'm going to fall off this ledge if I'm not real careful here. So let's avoid that. Uh, I am married. Sorry, ladies. I know uh, legions of internet fans are going to be crushed to hear that. And I have two kids. I live in Texas. I was not, I'm not from here originally. I've lived all over the U.S. I am, I've lived in uh, Kansas City, and I've lived in uh, California, and I've lived in North Carolina, and I've lived in New York, and I've lived in New Jersey, and I've lived in Oklahoma. So I've been all over the place. I was in the military for a little while. And uh, currently I'm in sales. So I work a lot, anywhere from 40 to 60 hours a week. I worked all day the last two days, like 13-hour days, which is why I didn't get any recordings up. But um, I'm a pretty typical Internet nerd. I like sports and I like video games. Uh, I did very much outkick my coverage when I got married, so I somehow ended up with a very pretty wife. I know. And no, I'm not posting pics. I can already see the requests. But um, I just got into uh, doing some of this stuff, some of this uh, recording lately, 
and it was because I enjoy playing and I thought it would be fun to kind of record something. I'm not in any kind of subscriber contest or views contest with anybody. I just uh, I enjoy playing and generally I understand uh, these mods pretty well and a lot of people have asked me for uh, some recordings of stuff so I decided to just go ahead and make it semi-official. Gart there in IRC is from Canada and he is one of the guys that I thought was going to be playing with me on this server but he's been busy or lazy or something. I did just recently uh, build a private server pack for this for the Technic launcher. Uh, the Technic guys, oh man. <laughs> See, I told you I was going to fall. The Technic guys uh, really hit a home run with that launcher. Um, for those of you that haven't checked it out, I, I highly suggest you look into the, the, the new Technic platform is what it's called. And, um, oh my gosh, it's hard to type and walk, I guess. Or, or talk and walk. Hmm. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, again, just a, a big thank you for everyone for subscribing. I appreciate the positive feedback that I've been getting for uh, both my spotlights and tutorials and this Let's Play series. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep enjoying what I've been what I put out there. So anyway, back to uh, building. Let's see. I'm gonna lose these if I mine them from here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm not quite. Come here. Oh no. Oh man. I'm gonna lose all those too. I have to go get them. Brick's too valuable just to let it fly away and breeze at this point. How ridiculous is that, that like brick becomes a valuable resource? All right, so um, for those of you that haven't checked it out, I did do a uh, spotlight on dimensional doors today. And, uh, wow, I really wish I had a jetpack or something. I'm going to have to continue doing this the old-fashioned way, I think. So uh, I did a spotlight on dimensional doors. And what dimensional doors is going to do uh, do is allow you some sort of mistcraft like functionality but in a uh, much different concept um, I really enjoyed it I actually added it to the server I also added um, two other mods I added ender tanks right ender tanks to the server oh my gosh and I added um, I'm forgetting something. Oh, Immovis Microblocks. Okay, so I was one of the um, uneducated masses that thought that Red Power had like an exclusive kind of deal with Microblocks and, and cool stuff like that. Well, it turns out that Immovis has a really, really neat core mod uh, for Microblocks that he's developed. And um, we'll get into it a little bit later. But the reason that I jumped at it is because it works with non-Red Power Blocks which means that all of your build craft pipes and thermal expansion pipes and IC2 wiring, anything that you know normally you have to use something ugly like either bury it or um, build a facade around it, um, which for those of you that have messed with them, you know how awful build craft facades are. Uh, the, the wonderful news is that Emibus has come through and really just made a fantastic, fantastic product with uh, his micro blocks. I'm not gonna have enough stone to do this. And uh, I'm really impressed by it. And I've heard it can be a little bit glitchy, but I honestly haven't seen any of that yet. So we're going to kind of half do this right now. All right, cool. So I, I did leave out um, a little bit of my uh, quote-unquote family earlier. Oh, you know what else I need to do here before I forget? Uh, I do have, and I think I've mentioned it before, I do have two cats and a dog. So... Lots of stuff going on at the Wilker house. So there's power, right? And then we're going to need to... Oh, come on. Really? Out of this one, at least. Have... See this? Yeah, we're going to give it some go-fast pipes. Now, you see what's going on here? Let's see what... You see why this is a problem? Because I can't cross over. So what I'm really gonna have to do here? No, 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 no! Oh man, it sucks. All right. So what we're gonna have to do here is bring it down from this side. Which you know, not the end of the world. Other than I just lost one completely unnecessarily. But um, let's see. 
hopefully with this set up like this, I'm moving it over here to the wall quickly because I know that it's going to, I'm going to want to put some other things in this little crawl space later. So for the moment, we're just going to do this. I'm not going to have enough of either one of these pipes, am I? That's too bad. All right. Hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I do have enough, barely. Ta da! Alright. And uh, the other thing you'll see is I'll end up replacing that golden. I'll probably end up replacing both of those before too long. But I do not currently have the resources to make. Uh, good replacements for them. Um, I am a huge RS-485 logistics pipes fan. So as a matter of fact, that's probably the next video I'm going to make is a logistics pipe um, kind of tutorial video. A lot of people uh, in IRC have been asking me about um, how to make logistics pipe do things. So that will most likely be the next thing I do. Unless there's other requests that just like seriously catch my attention and I want to do them. Man, this is not working. Let's see, can I reach that one? No. Nope. I have to break this. There we go. Alright, so. Yay! Alright, so that's a good side up there. Of course, we're stuck now. That's alright. Ta-da! All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Much happier than I was with the uh, other setup in the old room. And this will allow us to easily process our TE um, machines, using our TE machines, and have a little bit of room to expand them. I can add a ton more chests here, which I'll end up doing. I usually have about 15 to 18 sort chests. And then uh, I'll leave our IC2 stuff over here. And I don't mind having the IC2 stuff creep around the corner a little bit. But you'll notice later when we get into my kind of uh, more complicated builds that uh, the vast majority of my processing will happen um, out of sight. So that stuff will happen in that room down below where the power and stuff gets generated. But anyway, I'm much more happy with this now. Um, now we're going to move on to the next thing I really want to accomplish today, which is automating some of the farming we're doing downstairs. So to do that, I'm going to need some of my rubber. Uh, I think we're going to need like uh, 12 of this rubber. And the first thing I'm going to do is cook it back up again. And for those of you that have seen any of my other videos, you will know immediately what I'm getting into when I start uh, cooking up rubber. And it is that I'm trying to make some plastic. And what could I be using plastic for? Well, obviously, and that kind of gave it away, darn it, from my research earlier. So what I'm going to be building is uh, some automated farming stuff. And I want three sets of automated farms. And uh, one of them is going to be a little bit more complicated than the other ones. And uh, we're also going to need to give them power. So I think what I'm going to need to do here is build, um, let's see, they have a power buffer. So I think what I'll do is build three more solar panels. Uh, and actually, speaking of solar panels, look how low I am on coal. That's it. That's all the coal I have. So I, I'm going to pause the video for just a minute, and I'm going to go and do some more mining off camera, and I will be back. There is a werewolf in my house. Look at this guy. I came back at night, and he's in my house, and he's going to eat me. And I'm terrified. God. Oh, my cat's going crazy. Cat does not like the werewolf. Ah! This is awful. How did he even get in here? I mean, that's insane. Ugh. Is this not lit? Look at this. Oh, yeah, look. Wow. I'm just a scrub that can't light his own house. What's going on 
over here. Tens, tens, tens. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, mobs can spawn in block light of eight or less, uh, as long as there's room for them to spawn. So, oh, hey, look here. Got some tools. All right, so uh, I had a pretty good run of uh, mining and harvesting and stuff. And we are going to get some of these resources processing. Oh, I'm going to have to go turn my... Let's turn this off. I'm going to go turn my uh, power back on down here and get those buffers built back up. Give each one of these like five. And because coal is so rare, I only managed to come back with uh, three complete stacks of it. So hopefully that'll be enough to get us by. All right. What do we get from these? Hey, an iron sword. Look at that. All right. Um, let's get over here to our pulverizer, and we're going to get our gold in there, and our iron in there, and our tin in there. I, for some reason, I don't think you can put mons, mons in it. What is it? Mon is it? And um, a TE pulverizer. I think it has to go in a macerator. But that's okay. And then let's see, what else do we pick up down there? I don't think, can you pulverize tungsten? I don't even know. All right. And let's see, let's get all of our valuables put, tucked away here. I did find two diamonds, hooray. All right, so um, anyway, pretty good haul there. We got a bunch of uh, coal. Uh, as soon as this finishes macerating up, I'm gonna, let's see. Get a few more of these. You know what? Let's actually let's do this real quick. I'm gonna do one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna make nine solar pan or three solar panels. So we're gonna cook all that up. Let's get some of this other stuff put away while that's cooking. I know it's like uh, you can never have enough uh, hoppers, right? this guy doing his job? Oh, he's starting to get power. Pulverizer starting to get power. Excellent. Not very much yet, but they'll get there. Fantastic. All right. And then, um, that'll all go there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to let this stuff cook. And... While that's happening, where's all that rubber we cooked earlier? Yay, or plastic, yeah. So now we're going to use this plastic. Do I not have any bricks left? Or uh, smooth stone or some, right? Nope, aluminum ore. Okay, so the other thing I need to do here real quick is, let's see if we can sneak some in here now. It's doing its thing. No problem. So we want to... Cook up some smooth stone. It's doing its thing. This extractor's doing its thing. Can recharge this while we're up here. These charging benches are such cool machines. And uh, you see, in this case, uh, it doesn't charge that fast, but the HV ones will just drain instantly and then suck power back in from an MFSU. I may actually one day install Greg Tech on here. Just because there's just MFSUs just don't provide enough electricity like to power quickly charging grav suits and stuff. So nothing we obviously have to worry about right this second. But something to think about. I don't know. And oh let's see here. Let's let one more of these cook up and we'll get this stuff going. Okay, so what we need to do here is Get this and this. I don't know if you can hear that or not. My dog's sneezing. Oh, I could have sworn that was our recipe. Oh no, I think I have to to do something with this plastic, right? Yeah. 
And now I can do this. Right? It's my machine block recipe. Let's check it out. I thought I knew what it was, but I guess not. <laughs> I just have it backwards. All right. Fantastic. Now we have some machine blocks. And that should be done. Do this. Wow. Cannot click today. That's okay. Did I just literally do the exact same thing again backwards? Yes. Okay. So uh, there's a couple things we want to build. I want to build um, some planters, which each take three gold and a piston and some flower pots. So I need six flower pots, which I actually have some clay around here somewhere, don't I? Yes. So let's get those built. And then we're going to need 18 gold. Let's grab a stack, because all of these MFR recipes use gold. And for that one, we need pistons. So we need some iron. Let's get those built. Iron. Redstone. I don't have any wood planks on me, that's okay. <laughs> um what happened here? Oh. Okay. So there's that, and then let's see, what was it? It was piston and three golden. And then the buckets, right? Where'd they go? There, the flower pots and the machine block. Cool. Three planters. And then we need three harvesters, which take a golden axe and shear. So we need three golden axes and three sets of shears. I'm going to have to grab some more. All right, so again, we're going to need three of these guys, and we're a golden axe, and a shear, and gold, right? Three gold. I hope you guys can't hear my three-year-old yelling at his brother in the background. If so, I apologize. It's part of the gig. Let's get all these in there and that in there. Oh, I did not make, did I not make enough shears? Oh, it's because it's two per. So I, I'm building, what, two more of those guys? So I need three more sets of shears. That goes there. Oops, that's not what I want. This would be a lot easier if this stuff stacked, right? Thanks, power crystals. Um, and shears and shears. Awesome. So now we've got our harvesters made. And then the one other thing I'm going to need for this particular setup is an item router. And an item router uses, okay, let's see here, chest. God, that's a vanilla redstone repeater. I don't even know how to make that. Three stone, <laughs> two redstone torches. Uh, let's see. So we need two of those, so I'm going to need six cobble cooked up, and a chest. And some redstone torches, what was that, two per? Yeah, so I need four redstone torches. else went into this thing. Oops. Uh, 
Okay, no problem. So we're gonna need Couple of these guys, right? So we got redstone repeater, redstone repeater, chest, factory machine block, and gold. <laughs> and we get eight item routers for that. All right, so let's put some of this other stuff away. Uh, I'm running out of time here, so before it gets too crazy late, I uh, I am going to go ahead and finish these builds. Can you pulverize? Oh, we talked about this already. I don't think you can. So I'm going to throw this Monzonite back in there. There's my coal dust. Uh, I'm probably not going to finish this build in this episode. Uh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off camera, and I'm going to build these solar panels, and then um, some more wiring, and then I will show you how I'm going to do this. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, you'll see what I've done here is I've got my solar panels out, and I've got some power running from them. And I've made some 3x3 three three grids here with my uh, um, fencing. And I've ran the power kind of on the near side of it there. And let's look at what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and start dropping our planters. Which, uh, I was worried about that. Hmm, we may not have enough power here for this. Let's check and see if it can even push this harvester or not. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, so three solar panels is not enough to run these. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do is feed that into an MFE. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the build, and then I'll come back and fix the power later. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up these planters down here at the bottom of these 3x3s. Three and then you want to cover it with an entire layer of dirt, like this. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I almost forgot to show you guys something important. Okay. And um, on the other side of it, facing this 3x3, three three, we want to face our harvesters. And so the way these harvesters are going to work is they are going to harvest whatever these planters plant, right? And then I need the harvesters to eject their contents and shoot them back down into the planters. So to do that, we're going to That was my phone. <laughs> we're going to do this kind of number here. done with that we will um, have our harvesters auto eject their contents back over here into the planters so whatever that harvester harvests it's going to shoot it back right over straight into the planter we're going to come back and do this one here in a minute because that one's going to be a little bit trickier so, let's see here. All right, great. Now we still want to have this uh, piping going to this planter, but um, going to be a little bit trickier because this one's going to be our wheat. And as you all know, when you harvest wheat, you get two things, right? You get wheat and you get seeds. And all we need to get back into the planter is seeds. So what we're going to use here is another MFR item called an item router. And the item router we're going to place like this. And you'll see we want the black side of the item router. Oops. Why not? All right. So it's the black side of the item router that we want to uh, 
push seeds out of. So black, and then out of the, I guess we'll use the blue side here. And you'll notice I'm putting extra fencing up on this side because what happens is as you, uh, I know I built a crafting table down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Because I want the wheat to go into its own little inventory, and I want the seeds to go into their own little inventory. So we're just going to plop down a chest here, and then out of the blue side, we'll have wheat. So that, after I connect this, will now auto sort our wheat the correct direction also. Perfect. I think we need to yeah, keep all the baddies out of here. Perfect. Huh, I guess just for looks we'll do that. Oops. And so that essentially oh my gosh. Is how this is gonna work. So once I cover this all up, we got power issues here. Um, I don't think that little three EU a tick or whatever I'm feeding it is going to be enough to get these machines running. But I will come back uh, and maybe fix that next episode. But so you see, here is our basic setup for our automatic MFR farming. And I'm going to leave the manual farms up for a little bit. Um, just so I can get a little bit more of a stockpile of those resources, because this is not going to be extremely fast with the low amount of power that I'm able to provide to it. But it's kind of a neat setup. I think I like it. Um, and uh, hopefully it will uh, work out really well. Um, this is Wilker. This is my Let's Play series. Sorry we got a little bit jumbled there at the end of this one. I had some issues with uh, my design here, and I wasn't uh, equipped to cope with it, and uh, some craziness going on at my house, but that's okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. They would be appreciated. Feedback is always appreciated. And until next time, I uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you then.